in a certain group of 50 people how many are doctors who have a law degree so the question is talking about these two possibilities that means there may be some doctors some who are not doctors some may have law degree some may not have law degree so this question looks like a question of overlapping sets in which we draw the double matrix if it's a question of two sets so that's one thing that i've done on the precautionary basis a group is of 50 people so 50 comes to the right bottom corner which is the total number of people and how many are doctors who have a law degree so if x comes here so the question is about finding the value of x let's check these statements now the first statement says that in the group 36 people are doctors so the first statement says that this number is 36 but we do not know the value of x because 36 is comprised of these two regions and we do not know the second region therefore the first statement alone is not sufficient to answer the question and option a and b are out the second statement now says in the group 18 people have law degree so this number becomes 18 but once again this 18 is summation of these two numbers in which because the second part is unknown so x cannot be answered so this statement as well is not sufficient to answer the question. Step 3 is combination of the two statements. Now let's combine. We have 36 here. So 50 minus 36, 14 comes here. We have 18 here. That means 50 minus 18, 32 comes here. Now the question is the value of x. So can we find it out? And I am still not sure if we are able to find out because different values, if we start this number with 14 we will have a different value of x and if you start this number with 12 we will have another value of x so because we have none of these three values therefore we say that the information is not sufficient because x will not be a unique value and the answer to the question becomes option e i hope you enjoyed the explanation thank you so much